thank you all for joining this special investigative broadcast of national telegraph my name is eric tato welcoming you to this piece of our investigative journalism today um thursday uh end of year december 31st 2020 tomorrow is going to be 2021 first january and to conclude our prowess in investigative journalism today just like we have told the many surrogates of one of the uh, so-called leaders of uh the armed conflict in cameroon which we we'll particularly follow up because of the t3 that is involved in his camp as a news organ we said that we're going to leak his speech video speech uh 20 minutes before uh the broadcast because it's going to come out in 20 minutes and so we are leaking that right now it's 18 minutes to 8 p.m cameroon time 8 p.m amber time and it's 18 minutes to 2 p.m washington dc time 2 p.m eastern time per se and we are leaking the speech right now so once you join us you share this is just to tell his surrogate his fans and our fans that we are the best in what we do so right now i want to implore all of you to share very uh widely we're going to take 30 seconds to share uh before we start the broadcast we're going to use our phone mm -hmm. to show that to all of you right here so once you join and make sure you share is very important and uh and uh, this will explain a couple of things to some of you keep sharing as you join thank you so much all right so uh we want to ask all of you to share extensively as you join so it is uh part of our journalism prowess to prove to anybody that's been following us that when we say something we have the facts sometimes we just sit there i was telling a lot of people in the group in some of the groups that national theater can leak sarko's speech uh just before he goes on he goes on air to tell you how much our tentacles have spread and how what we're doing so i'm going to show that just to describe the way he's dressed for his surrogates i'm going to do the description in the next two minutes and uh, so once you join us make sure you share extensively uh this is part of our investigative journalism to confirm our journalism prowess and so we're going to be showing that speech right here on this other phone in just a minute or so so we're going to make sure all of you are going to have this thank you so much uh once you join make sure you share god bless you keep sharing as you join all right so i'm also sharing here on whatsapp so make sure you share extensively so that we're going to have you uh watch that speech uh and that's going to happen soon so once you join you share uh that's just basically this what this show is about so once it's uh 10 minutes to time when he'll be broadcasting we'll bring the speech out so we just want to build this platform and uh we want to state here categorically that uh, National Telegraph has the right to give its opinion, its opinion on matters, and that's exactly what we're doing. And so, I want to uh, say that 2021 hopefully is going to be different for people who are supposed to run things related to other people. They are supposed to remain honest, objective. They are supposed to remain trustworthy and truthful. And there's only one reason why we can get that speech because uh, people don't trust him no more, and they can leak his speech and stuff like that okay two things are going to happen after i'm going to leak this speech they might still decide to go ahead with it or they will tell you they are postponing because they want to record a new speech and change it don't forget they have not postponed the speech till now that is why i'm coming very close to the event it's just going to be 15 more minutes and i'm going to bring the speech right here he's dressed in a uh, northwest regalia i know they will be shocked they're going to try to change that but they will not change the voice so i have it right there give me a minute and i'll be right back don't go keep sharing thank you so much All right, so I'm right back, okay? That was just before a minute. Make sure you share extensively to all WhatsApp groups, just like I'm sharing. Uh, we are leaking that speech right in a couple of minutes. Uh, that is to tell you how much we have invested in intelligence when it comes to journalism. And that is why National Theory of Women is the best. We don't say things we have no proof about. So once you join, you share extensively. We'll be very glad. Make sure you share so that it gets to everybody. Uh, it's a leaked speech. And, I mean... To be honest, it doesn't happen anywhere, but we have the speech and we're going to lick it right away. And uh, so, right. Oh, right here. All right, so you see, this is where they recorded in the studio. That's Sakwe Komi. This is how it's going to appear tonight at 8 p.m. Amber time. For those of you who are watching, we are licking the speech right now. That's how he's dressed in that video. That's a recorded, of course, they're going to superimpose a background and it's going to be like he's reading life. He's not. 
because of course you know this guy is not talented one bit as i've always told you people on national telegraph okay so we're going to play the league just to tell you to confirm all the other leaks that we've been having so this is Sarko's speech for today i'm going to play it and you all want to see it is a 35 minutes 29 second long speech we have it all here we're going to play it even before the start okay let's go my dear people of southern cameroon amazonia happy new year imagine where we were four years ago our destiny was wholly trapped in the nest of killers we once erroneously considered our brothers in 2016 we started by speaking as gentlemen do expecting civilized answers that we were rudely awakened by the cruelty and monstrosity of our French Cameroon exterminators, who have been masqueraded over the years as our brothers from a different mother. Just imagine the paradox of torturing us to death because they want us to stay together. The mimics, the lootings and the assaults, the targeted assassinations, the abductions and disappearances of thousands of our people by these monsters who have told us to our faces that the wages of divorce, even from a failed experiment with no treaty of union, will be our total annihilation. Not dialogue, not genuine dialogue. Imagine the value of our properties and historic sites in more than 400 villages and hamlets burned to ashes our markets some of our schools and hospitals all raised down or forced to be abandoned to ruins for fear of brutes who only yesterday in Fumban purportedly agreed that we were equals imagine our more than 20,000 Amazonians, including mothers, toddlers, and innocent children of school age, brutally slaughtered by Pobias terrorists and their proxies with total impunity. Add to this number about 100,000 more innocent Amazonians who have died in four years of this conflict of other causes as a consequence of this senseless war. How many orphans do we now have in Amazonia? How many widows? And how many of our great people are now wallowing in total destitution? What a price to pay in a so-called union of two equals just for daring in 2016 to demand that our two people sit down and have a sincere dialogue. Imagine the pain we are being subjected to, the fate of over 1.5 million of our people languishing in bushes, inhumanly held in dungeons and refugee settlements, or squatting with extended relatives or even total strangers without food, without water, medical care, shelter, or education. Imagine the devil in these French Cameroon forces targeting even our innocent toddlers, torturing and shooting them at close range, roasting and frying some, like the little baby that was fried in the village of Kendem in a pot of boiling oil. This is how Mr. Beer wants to preserve the one Cameroon lie. It now seems as though our ancestors were under a spell when they opted to enter into this failed relationship in 1961. And why, or why in the world, did they not discover these wolves in sheep clothing? Imagine for a brief second, the political, educational, and legal subjugation of our people, and the economic exploitation of our God-given resources by French Cameroon, even in the heart of a raging war, have not abated. In their minds, we no longer exist, and our lives don't matter anymore. They have resolved to do with the barrel of the gun what they failed to So, when I see a circle of speech, I go pause for a year, then I talk some more, then I can play back the speech because the tribe will come up in nine minutes, they'll be coming up. 
So I want to thank all who now want to watch and very well. We could not see exactly what it go on. That is why we at, at the National Telegraph are exactly a replica of truth and investigation. Of course, I spoke in brief in Pigeon English, which is the lingua franca of most of the people who are in this armed conflict. Let me be clear. One thing about National Telegraph and Eric Tato is that they stand by the tenets of the truth. That is why we are leaking this speech. The first lie in that speech is about a baby that was fried in Kendem. That was not true. When you, as a president, as you call yourself, you want to talk about events, you must correlate facts. There was a baby that was killed in Moyoka, baby matter, not in Kendem. No baby was fried in oil in Kendem. Today, Sako stood up to address the people because in his last speech, he stood down and we came to criticize it. That nowhere in the world will you ever see a president, a so-called president, sitting down to address the people. Not even the phone of Bafut, who was addressing his people yesterday. I also have the video of the phone of Bafut, who addressed his people yesterday. He stood up. He was standing up in the Bafut regalia. No leader sits down to address his people. Nobody does that. And you can see Sako is reading from a teleprompter. This, the stuff are passing there, he's reading. That's the original speech. They will only put a background there and you will see it. My intention and the intention of National Telegraph is that in our opinion, we detest thiefery, armed robbery, revolutionary cookery. And that is why in this particular platform, on this platform, all of us have decided, all our reporters have as duty to expose thiefery within any particular sector. We've done it with the president of Uganda who is brutalizing supporters of Bobby Wine. We're doing it with Paul Bia of Cameroon who is brutalizing the Anglophones. And of course, supporters of Camto and the entire country, especially those of the Northwest and the Southwest who are demanding for a legitimate suppression. Today, we are doing it with Sam Ekomi uh, Sako, who is a former pastor, a jobless man in Maryland, who has decided to steal from the contributions of his own people. And that is why we are leaking this speech. Maybe they want to postpone it, but you see this is exactly how he's dressed. We'll continue so that you can all see to the end. Accomplished in 60 years through their treacherous policies of assimilation and brutal exploitation. Yes, we of this brave generation of Southern Cameroonians, caught in this web of annihilation, refused to wait to all be killed by these marauding monsters, we mustered the courage to arise once and for all against their deadly masquerades on helicopter gunships and armored cars wielding machine guns with our bare knuckles. We are energized by the immortal spirits of the ancient warriors of our land, like Kuvali Kenya, Pontem Asongani, etc. We chose the path of liberty to liberate ourselves from the slave shackles of French Cameroon or die fighting honorably. This is our generational responsibility to free our land from this black on black colonialism, end decades of genocide and guarantee a free Southern Cameroon for our children. We must finish, finish the job. Since the reigniting of this freedom flame in 2016, our people of uh, in 2020 in particular exemplified awesome bravery, ingenuity and resilience. We cumulatively registered record-breaking progress in our self-defense infrastructure in spite of French Cameroon's escalation of the war during the pandemic. Our righteous resolve for total freedom could not be hoodwinked or silenced by the occupiers. I will pass here after six minutes plus to say some other things some circle surrogates on this platform say this is childish no it is not do you remember when tucker uh, carlson released audios from hunter biden's discussion with his business partner this is called investigative journalism there is nothing primitive in having a leak in a media organ in fact it's the biggest technique and savvy of a media organ that is why we are here to leak this and I'm sure in six minutes, 
The Sako guys will be out there to play this. I'm sure they are confused. They are trying how to change it. Two things are going to happen. They will either postpone this speech, delay it, or take the risk after all to say, okay, this news organ is too strong, too powerful. They got our message before we could get it. They were doing, you saw them, they're trying to do pre-president analysis. To be honest with you, and this is our opinion, this gentleman represents, is an epitome of thiefery, and we must say it. All of us must say it. You must shame a thief. For somebody who saw or oversaw the raising of 1.4 million U.S. dollars to fight for the liberation of a people and then becomes more corrupt than the enemy he's trying to fight against. Of course, the most mature journalism is having a leak. Take, for example, if you came and you said that, you have a leak of Sarko's video or speech, and this is what he was dressed in. Sarko can quickly change, and they could edit that. And his people will say it is conspiracy, that you're a liar. You don't talk the truth. But today, because you've leaked it, they say you're childish. Whatever way you go, they will call you a name. So one thing remains, only the truth. And I'll play this some more. Streams and new levels of barbarism. Fellow Amazonians, my dear compatriots, the genocide in Amazonia is now full-fledged. Every day, blood is spilled on our streets in Amazonia. They fear to confront our dreaded self-defense forces, the Amazonia Restoration Forces, and rather prey on innocent Amazonians in our towns and villages. Their hallmark scorch earth policy has continued with targeted burning of villages and homes. They continue to, to, to commit these atrocity crimes, in our opinion, for this long because of the complicit silence of the United Nations Security Council and France in particular. To the many Amazonian families who have borne the crushing pain of losing their loved ones because of this senseless genocide that has been declared on us, I say, be strong and do not give up. We are with you and share your pain. The blood of every Amazonian will be accounted for and justice will be served. Amazonia will forever honor all those whose blood has watered our tree of freedom. The thirty choruses and monuments will edify the sacrifices each family bore for our homeland to be free. No Amazonian gone before us will be... Okay, very good. We have to continuously follow up comments and reply. Somebody says Sarko's speech is hack. This is not a hack speech. Leaking something is even from being hacked. Hacking is when something's already up there. This is leaked because it's pre-recorded. And we use our intelligence unit within Sarko's camp to get the speech. So that is clearly the point. And we must continuously tell the few Sarko surrogates that we're on top of the game. National Telegraph is the best. That is why we're respected for our promise in news broadcast for authenticity and above all we are evidence based we'll continue to play this but we want to make a comment Sarko says the un has been quiet no just wrestling the un security council he was the one pressing the un security council in his last speech he said they have achieved something because the un security council is talking about southern cameroons which by the way is not his achievement because he's against the u.s security council Today, just so soon he has forgotten and he says the UN has stayed quiet. Apart from France, within the UN Security Council, who didn't talk about the armed conflict, the rest of the security members talked about it and called for negotiation. So this looks like Sarko is doing a job for the Cameroon government. Otherwise, why did he not find a time to praise the UN in his, in his, in his speech? Let's play some more. number on the tombstone. No. When the battle is over and the fire of our victory torch is lit in Boya, and the parade along the Abed Mukong Square is, is over. We will surely account for every compatriot gone before us. We will pay our dues as a nation to their families left behind. Let every local government keep their records and report same to our Directorate of Statistics and National Archives here at the presidency. Let me use this opportunity once more Okay, this guy claims that he has a presidency in his house. 
I mean, the biggest thief that has existed in any revolution across the globe. And he's asking you to give statistics why he's stealing your money. And this is a thing that no media organ can tolerate. No media organ should tolerate. Armed robbers should not be tolerated. He has no opinion about who is being killed. Because to the best of our, our knowledge and to the opinion of National Telegraph, Sakoe Komi is one of those people who, have, who must have contributed maximally to the killing of the people of the Northwest and Southwest, a.k.a. Ambazonians. Why? Because he stole money meant for the revolution. So that is his speech, and I will keep on playing. I'm sure they are shocked. They should be trying to broadcast that by now. Okay? So this is 2, two o'clock. We'll stay. And... Uh, a moment of remembrance, remembrance for so he's trying to read so he's struggling to make sure that he reads from the teleprompter genocide started a moment of silence please Hello, Ambazonians. On this same day last year, I appealed to the young men and women working for the colonial terrorist forces in Ambazonia to obey their consciences and drop their weapons. The good news is that call was massively heeded. The colonial regime of Yaoundé recently published a list of thousands of his soldiers Claiming that he deserted Sako says that he is the one who called for soldiers to desert like public military. <laughs> this is lovable, isn't it? You see, Tifri is embedded in this, embedded in this guy. A national telegraph thinks that it must be condemned. No country can be built on corruption and Tifri and fake fakeness and lies like this. Just imagine. You call somebody your president, and he says that he's the one who asks people to desert the Cameroon military and the left. So, if they left, where did you accommodate them? How are they fighting? Perhaps the money that he took for the, from the draft, he gave these soldiers to run away to Ghana, to other areas. You hear that. Tomorrow they will tell you they use money for draft for the defected soldiers. That is what Sako is building up. You see, Tifri, embezzlement, corruption, lies telling cannot be tolerated and definitely National Telegraph is not going to tolerate the same. So let me play this. But our intelligence tells us that a good chunk of the soldiers on that list are soldiers who fell in battle in southern Cameroon against our valiant self-defense volunteers, the Ambazonia Restoration Forces. But I also know that some joined our ranks. I want to sincerely appreciate all who deserted from Olbia's genocidal army, their origins notwithstanding. I want to inform all families of soldiers of La Republic involved in the war in southern Cameroon that if a soldier has not communicated with family... Okay, so we end this speech on the 10th, uh, on the 10th minute. The speech is actually, the total number of minutes for this speech, you see it, is 35 minutes, uh, 24 seconds per se. Yes, 25, you can see it right here. The leak from Google, that's it right there. You can see 35 minutes, 24 uh, seconds. We have it here, the, soft, the entire speech is right here. So I'm going to leave it like that because I think we just want everybody to see. And I want to thank everybody. That is exactly how authentic National Telegraph is. They will either postpone the speech making stuff or they just go ahead. Anyways, if they don't do it, they still prove the fact that we're speaking the truth. We've always done. That is why, and one reason why we really leak this is because we wanted to show all of them who were arguing about some of our leaks in the past that we have more leaks. When we say we have leaks, we have them. Thank you so much. God bless you. And keep trusting National Telegraph. Don't forget, every title has a new page. You can check it out. We just did a live show today. Huge support from all of you. God bless you. Have a bye-bye and thank you so much. Happy New Year. We'll be back. God bless you. Keep, keep on, keep on, and make sure you keep following National Telegram. Bye-bye.